Namaste. Uh, today we are going to talk a little bit about or share our experience about herbal medicines because in our life health is the one of the most important stuff without health we cannot enjoy any other assets in our life that's why in permaculture design we give much emphasis on the uh, herbal medicines we want to put that into our design very well that's why today i brought you in this zone four of our farm where we have many herbal medicines so let's have a bit of sharing about what medicines we have and how do we use them this is a marigold a uh, very common flower uh, when you are working in the farm by accident if you make a wound if you cut or if you injure uh, by some tools then you can easily just take that leaf of this or you can also take as an atom and just very easily squeeze this like this and then put the juice on the place where you have the wound and within a minute the blood would stop and then it would heal it works as a natural disinfectant it's very good this is artemisia and this is also one of the most popular herbal medicines even in the industrial level artemisia is very good against fever and also uh, if you have a swelling if you have fever we will cook this leaves in water and make it really thick solution and then we drink well in taste it's bitter in Nepal we have a saying the good advice and good medicines are always bitter so more bitter is more strong more effective so if you take that for about one week daily uh, very strong fever would also be cured by this uh, means it can even uh, control some kind of infection if you have swelling we take this and steam this in the fire so when the vapor starts coming from this we take this with the vapor and then slowly massage in the place where you have a swelling and the swelling would go down in a minute it's also very effective against uh, animal disease like when your cow or animal give birth and the order is swelling for the first few days that might happen at that time you can do the same procedure in the animal order also this is uh, dasingare gultheria it's called winter green uh, it's one of the best medicine we have in our farm uh, we can take this leaf and we can boil this in water and it has a very very nice smell on this uh, you can find this in the very commercial medicines like iodex move which are very much used in the sports or when you hit your muscle or bone we take the uh, essential oil of this and make a very gentle massage and it's very very helpful it grows in a shady area very easily it can just grow wild you can just go collect the leaves boil them and use it you can distillate the essential oil from this and use it as a medicine this is called fern potato uh, it uh, grows in the wild area in a shady moist area and if you pull out the plant underneath you find the small balls it's a fern and it has a fruit like a potato that's why it's called fern potato in the urban area the leaf of this is used as a decorative to uh, decorate the flower bouquet they use this as a decorative and in the medicine uh, we take this ball and when you are suffering with a very high temperature like accidentally if you have to be in the tropical area where you are not used to with this and because the strong sunshine your body is a little bit burnt you don't feel like eating stomach ache a kind of problem if that happen you just take these balls and just eat it if you take two or three or four then you feel very cool after one even half an hour you feel much relaxed and then your heat problem would be gone that's why nowadays you can even find this dried in the supermarket so if you want to pay more go to the supermarket if you want to get fresh and cheap you go to the nature so these are just example in our farm we have about uh, 500 different plants and well in one way all every plants are medicinal for this or that problem uh, but still 38 are more important very famous very effective uh, herbal medicines so if you don't know about them you can come to our farm you can join us or be in touch with them uh, we'll explain how we use how to process them how to make that good luck have more herbs in your farm and enjoy natural medicine stay happy stay healthy namaskar